Hi, it's Melissa Maker from Maker's Clean and I'm really excited that you just got your Maker's Mop. Today I'm going to show you how to unpack it, put it all together and get you up and running with a quick start guide. In your package, you'll receive a mop handle, a mop head and a package of mop pads. All right, so let's get this assembled first and foremost. To disengage the stem from the mop head so you can assemble it, you're just gonna put your hand like this and gently pull it up so that it now looks like this. And if you have a look at the mop handle, you'll see at the end here, it's got two holes and your mop head stem has these two white tabs. You're simply gonna line up the two and you can pop the tabs in until you hear a click. And now I know my mop head is properly assembled. The swivel lock is located right here and is designed to keep your mop head stationary for certain cleaning tasks like cleaning walls, ceilings, and even floors. But it is not designed to stabilize the mop head when extreme force is used on either side. And the reason is, is because if it didn't disengage with too much pressure, it would actually crack the mop head itself. So that's why that fail safe is in place. Now, when it comes to storing the mop, because of course this is the position you would want to use it in, but when you want to store the mop, you would disengage the mop head like I just did, and then you would flip it down one step further so that it is fully locked in its vertical position. This mop handle telescopes from three feet all the way up to five, and if you want to know a simple trick for easily being able to telescope your mop, Put your hand on the skinnier part of the mop handle, that's the actual part that telescopes into the larger part of the mop handle, and then you're going to use this convenient purple grip to hold with your other hand. You'll twist in opposite directions and then twist back the way you came to lock it into position. Now, once your mop is already semi-extended, you can hold the skinnier part with one hand, hold the plastic grip with the other, and twist and adjust as you please. The kit that you've ordered comes with four mop pads, two everyday mop pads, and two deep clean mop pads. Now, the deep clean ones are really cool because they've got these yellow zigzags that are scrubby, so they're really great for using on those heavy duty cleaning jobs, but your everyday mop pad is super powerful as well. Just a quick reminder when you're laundering these mop pads to make sure that you rinse them really well after use, then you throw them in the washing machine, use regular or cool water and a regular detergent, no bleach, no fabric softeners. You can put them in the dryer on low heat or no heat, or you can hang them to dry. To apply a mop head to your mop head, it's quite simple. You can do this whether it's dry or wet, if you've pre-soaked it. And the way I like to do it is I stabilize the mop head. I just find it easier. Then I'll stick one half or one side of the mop onto the Velcro pad. I'll kind of pop it on there and then I'll fold it over and really apply it nice and tight to the other side. Now don't worry if you see a little bit of the pad flaring out on either side. What's most important is that both of the adhesive strips have been engaged with the mop pad. It will stick on and it will do its job. There are many different ways you can use this mop, but a couple of easy ways that you can get started is dry dusting. So you can take your everyday mop pad, you can pop it on your mop head, and you can use this on your floor to do what in essence you would do with a dry dust mop. So this is really good for hard floor surfaces for those in-between cleans, or let's say there's some pet hair or some crumbs that have built up that you just sort of wanna whoosh away, but you don't necessarily wanna bring out a vacuum or a mop. For this, you don't even need to wet your mop pad. Some people like to lightly mist it because they find it's a little bit more attractive for dust and dirt, but you do you. Now, when it comes to using the mop wet, you have a couple of options. You can either use a spray bottle filled with your favorite floor cleaner, and we have tons of recipes available for you on Makers Clean, our YouTube channel, and we can link those for you on our website as well. Uh, so you can fill your spray bottle with the appropriate floor cleaner. Your mop pad can start dry, and then as you use it, it will get a little bit more wet each time. Of course, because you can use both sides of the mop pad, it kind of extends the life of each mop pad before you have to change it out. And then the other way that you can use it is by pre-soaking your mop pads. I actually really like doing it this way. I didn't think I'd be so on board, 
but I am a changed woman. So what you do is you fill a bucket or a bowl with water and your floor care solution, and you just soak your mop pads in there. When you know they've sat for a minute or so, you can pull one out, wring it out really well. You want it to be damp dry. The mop head is still gonna do an amazing job because it's got that moisture, that product in there, but the reason you want it damp dry is so that it doesn't really leave streaks behind. It'll take a minute to dry, but not much past that. Once you've finished using the first mop pad, you can remove it and give it a quick rinse. It's up to you whether you leave that for washing or you throw it back into the mix and re-soak it but you can grab your second mop pad, wring that one out and apply it to your mop pad. That's why we've included two of each pad in the package. The most significant difference you'll notice between this mop and other mops obviously is the incredibly shaped U-head. That is not gimmicky, that is designed with cleaning in mind. It is very specific and I'm gonna walk you through how to leverage this shape and get the most out of each cleaning. When you use a traditional flathead mop, you're relying upon the front edge of that mop to sort of push and pull your dirt around. With the U-shape, the amazing thing is you're using half the mop with this precision edge and the half of the U, that upward curve, is actually trapping dirt as you move around with your mop. So you'll notice less of those nasty dirt and dust lines on your floor that you would see with a regular flathead mop. When you're using a traditional flathead mop, your pressure that you apply is always evenly distributed. You never have the ability to focus your efforts in one place or another. With this mop, you've got the precision edge. So when you really apply pressure to a surface, if you've got say a stain that you really wanna scrub out, all of your effort now focuses down on this precision edge and this precision edge only, giving you an advantage because you can scrub like crazy, something you could never do with a flathead mop. The other benefit of the U-shape is that you get two sides of cleaning. So some people, when they're using this mop with a spray bottle, they will spray and clean with one side of the mop and then just quickly flip around and dry that same surface with the other side of the mop. Or you can just go at it with one side of the mop and when you feel that that one is dirty and saturated, you can flip around and keep on cleaning with the other side. First, I wanna help you find a comfortable height for the mop handle. So for me, I think shoulder height is a great place to start because I don't like hunching over when I mop and I also want, don't want it to be too high up. So I find that that's just enough for me but it's really important that you try it out and you adjust it and see what works best for you. So we'll start by putting our hand right here at the stem of the mop head and our other hand on the plastic grip. You're gonna turn it counterclockwise, you can adjust, and then once you get to a height that you think might work, you can sort of tighten it, flip it up, see where you're at, make any final adjustments, and then give it a good lock in position before you go ahead and give it a try. For dry dust mopping, you can use the S pattern. For this, I've got the mop head disengaged from the locking mechanism, so I get that full 360 degree rotation, and I'm controlling the mop from the top. Now, for using the mop wet, I like to use the W pattern. Find the grain of your flooring. If you have hardwood floor, otherwise don't worry about it. Just pick one direction. And you wanna essentially draw big W's on the floor, sort of going straight on the way up and angled on the way down. If you wanna learn more about taking care of and using the mop, you can visit our care guide. I've got a link for that in the description box. Remember, when you're out in the wild using your mop to tag us on Instagram, at makers.clean, or using the hashtag makersclean, we would love to see what it looks like when you're out there using your mop. Here's another video about the Makers Mop you should check out, and if you wanna to subscribe to the Makers Clean YouTube channel, you can click that button right over there. Thanks so much for picking up the Makers Mop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.